Hi, my name's Lee and I'm a dressage rider from South Africa. And I'm just gonna start at the beginning. I've been riding since I was about three, um, focusing on dressage and showing mainly doing a little bit of jumping here and there. And when I got into my early 20s, I started my own business and I didn't really have the money or the time to carry on riding on my own. So I stopped for about eight years of my life. Two or three years ago, I slowly started getting back into riding again and realized how much I missed it and what a big hole it had left in my life, not doing it. So I made the decision to start seriously riding again and to be a competitive dressage rider. About a year ago, um, I started taking three to four to five lessons a week, riding as many horses as I could, getting as much experience and exposure as I could. Um, and it was horrible. I mean, it was bad. <laughs> I had no core strength. I had no muscle memory. I couldn't, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Like I'd never gotten on a horse before. I felt like I was riding a horse for the first time in my adult life. And uh, it was depressing, it wasn't great. And it took a full year for me to get myself back to the point where I at least feel like a competent rider again. And that brings us up to today. For most of 2015, I was full stabling a horse called Luna. And we had to retire her at the beginning of the year uh, because she had pretty bad arthritis and it was just causing her discomfort and she wasn't happy. Um, and at that point I had two choices. I could either full stable or half stable one of the uh, school horses at our yard, which are amazing. We have great trainers and great horses at our yard. Or I could look for my own horse, which is what I decided to do. I looked at about 30 plus horses, which is a lot. And because I didn't have a massive budget, and I still wanted something with decent breeding and decent movement and a good temperament, um, I, I had to go through a lot of horses to, to find the one. And I found him this last Monday. <laughs> Today is Wednesday and two days ago I found him. His name is Hermes. He is a South African warm blood out of a sire called Duggarat. And, um, He's a dark bay, he's about 16, 1, 16, 2, so he'll make 16, 3, maybe 17. Um, he has really good movement, he has um, good confirmation and a super, super temperament. And he was the right price as well. So I bought a horse and I decided what I wanted to do was document the process of taking a completely green horse from no experience at all to hopefully uh, the higher levels in dressage someday. I mean, I have to get there too, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to document the process for myself um, and also to be able to share with people because I would have loved something like this uh, when I was just starting out or starting up again. I think I would have found it so useful and just inspiring to watch. Um, so that's how dressage from scratch sort of came to be. And um, I'm so excited about doing this. I can't wait to get a really great community together and show you guys everything about Hermes and my journey and uh, what we go through on a daily and weekly basis and the progress that he makes on a weekly and monthly basis and I just think it's going to be a really fun, exciting, interesting, drama filled probably journey <laughs> and it's, it's going to be something that I'm really passionate about that uh, I've been wanting to do for a long time in some capacity and this is just the perfect time. So I haven't decided exactly what form this channel is going to take. I was thinking initially that I'd do two sort of one take vlog type videos in a week and then maybe a longer weekly update video of um, the progress that Hermes made that week. Um, 
but I mean we'll see I, I've never done this before so I'm gonna have to see what works and what doesn't and what I have time for and what I can fit in and I'm gonna be doing all the editing and everything myself as well so we're gonna have to see how it all works out um, the only disclaimer <laughs> that I kind of want to have for this channel is that um, horse riding is the kind of sport where everyone has very firm ideas about what's right and what's wrong and how to do things and there are as many training systems for dressage in the world as there are people and horses in the world and um, I really want to start a really supportive helpful um, informed and just fun community on YouTube um, so I, I just want people to be mindful and respectful that there is not always a right and wrong way to do things as long as your horse is happy and healthy and you're not doing any physical or, or mental harm to it um, through your training there's really no right or wrong way to do things um, I really make an effort to make sure that my horses get the best care well my horse <laughs> gets the best care and um, is very well taken care of and, and very well treated um, so you know if it, there's nothing wrong with having the conversation about you know will you do things this way and I do things that way but you know I really want this channel to be a positive welcoming experience for everyone yeah other than that um, I have an Instagram account uh, uh, dressage from scratch um, if you want like daily posts and quick updates and stuff uh, follow follow me over there as well um, we have a Twitter page and Facebook. I might or might not do. I just feel like it's unnecessary at this point. Um, but yeah, those other channels will be a good way to get quick updates and, and um, maybe extra bonus footage and pictures that you don't get here from the YouTube channel. And I'm excited. I think this is going to be a really cool journey and I can't wait to get started. Hermes is being delivered to our yard this Saturday, so that's in three days time and I that will be our first vlog. I'll be vlogging on Saturday, his arrival and everything that happens that day um, and how he feels and acts and him looking at his stable and me being lame and grooming him and all of that great stuff that happens when you get a new horse. So um, I can't wait for that and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me and I look forward to taking you along with me on this journey. So see you Saturday. Bye.